Hello! Welcome back to Planner Apocalypse. Today should be vlog humbug day 12, I think. I'm trying to batch film a few things, so um, I'm not staying up until 3 in the morning again because my brain is just, it is not good. As you can see, I've pre-made the mess today, but it is for good reason. There is method to my madness, as Billy Shakes will say. So last video, we talked about my, what's in my planner pouch and I showed everyone my color coding tools. So today I thought I would go into why I color code things and what my color code is and like the reasoning behind I chose colors for certain things, I guess. Great. Well, we're gonna clean up these, I suppose, because we don't need everything out. I was just trying to get that for the thumbnail, the, the giant mess. So these are gone now, bye-bye. Okay, so as you can see, this is this week's Memento Mori Goal Planner spread, and this is my task list. It's very multicolored, right? And that is because I color code my tasks. And if you go back to my goal setting stuff, because this is a goal planner, you'll see that this all these things are highlighted in colors and all of the goal life domains are color coded as well. I use the same color code for the domain categories as I do for my tasks. So for example, pink is connection and I'm trying to like simplify these things a little bit because as you can see there's you know a dot, a green dot near the pink. That's because connection, pink was originally my kids and then green was my husband, because Nick's favorite color is green. And so I picked pink for connection because love and, and stuff like that. Now, any anything having to do with my kids or my family or friends is now in pink. My husband is still green because otherwise I will just never use the green pen. <laughs> and, and that way I know that you know, like it's Nick specific and I want to make sure that I pay special attention to that because he is my husband, I married him for a reason. So rest and well-being is red. This is the equivalent life domain of health and wellness or mental health or whatever. So I picked red for that, obviously because blood is red for, you know, 99% of people, I'm sure. Um, and if you do not have red blood, I don't want to know because I don't want the FBI coming after me for uh, knowledge that I should not have. So be quiet. I have orange for home and environment. And that was probably the last color I picked in my color code. So that, that's just how it is. It's always orange for me now. And I'm not really mad about it. But yellow used to be just writing specifically. But in my goal planner, I have it as alignment and self-expression. So as you'll see, there's this little gray dot um, because there, I think there are 12, there are 12 different colors in this Zig Clean color dot set. I can link these pens below. I'll probably already have them linked, but I, w I guess I was trying to use them all. I color coded my videos for YouTube with gray and writing specifically with yellow, but I'm trying to kind of minimize that. So I think I'm going to do like the actual content for writing or marketing or videos as yellow because I'm expressing myself. And then gray is going to be like the administrative task that are involved with that. So why did I pick yellow? Because it's what lights me up and, you know, alignment and self-expression. You're shining your light on the world. So it should be yellow in my mind. Anyway, there's no should. But in my mind, it is yellow and gray is kind of like when the light's off. <laughs> so it's like behind the scenes kind of stuff. Green, that's resources and contribution in my planner world. So green is obviously going to be money, but it's this lime green. It's not this Kelly green, okay? Um, it's money green, and so that should be self-evident, I, I feel. So then I have these blues here for practice, which is my, my equivalent for work or, you know, just doing the actual thing that you're supposed to be doing. Since I am a designer and artist, this pertains to doing the designing and arting. So that that's the light blue because I really like that color. And then the navy blue here is kind of, you know, like a, a business, a business-like blue. So that's my business, business color. So this is, if I was gonna color code stuff, this would be stuff for my Etsy business, business. and doing goal setting and planning stuff 
how many other times can I say business, business in this video? I just stop it. And then this indigo color or ultramarine blue or whatever you want to call it. I don't even know what they call it on here. Splash. Okay, well, it's it's like an ultramarine or an indigo. Kind of like my hair, actually. I picked that because I had an extra color <laughs> and um, the other ones were ugly. I think I had, you know, like brown left. So because I wanted to have a rainbow, but this is play. And as you'll see, there's a brown there and the brown is for specifically for when I'm doing um, tabletop gaming. So um, I picked that because in my world, Adventure is brown <laughs> because, you know, you think about like dirt roads and treasure chests being made of wood and brown. So that that's why I picked that. <laughs> Curiosity and passion is my kind of spiritual equivalent, I guess. I would put anything here that feeds my spirit. And the reason I picked purple is because traditionally throughout history, historically, uh, the color purple was reserved for spiritual leaders in in many cultures and also royalty because it's it's a rare pigment you know try to make and dye clothes and stuff like that so that's what my color code is and why i picked the colors that i picked but as far as why i choose to color code my tasks every week it's because I want to see at a glance where my energy is going to be directed. So let's say, it, well, we're in the holiday season, so there's probably going to be a lot of family and friend gatherings. So that means there's probably going to be a lot of pink. So if I'm in the mindset, because I also have depression and anxiety, um, if I am not in a good mindset to be present with other people, seeing a big block of pink is going to be extra draining for me. So it, at that point that I have to tune in with myself and ask myself, like, can I do this? Can I reschedule any of these, you know, get togethers or anything like that? Or, you know, if I have to go, which it's the holidays, if I, you know, you can always say no, even though it doesn't feel like it a lot of times in a lot of families. But at the end of the day, you need to do what is best for you and your energy. And also, like, if I have, let's say, a huge chunk of blue, that's my design work, I know that I'm going to be on the computer all day for a lot of time. And I have to look at these things more realistically. I have so many big projects on my list am I actually going to get all of these things done? And usually the answer is no, but I write them down anyway because I, I don't want to forget them. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I, I just like having a little warning, I guess, before my week starts to see where things are going for the week. Where's my energy going? Where's my time going? And, you know, that's if I do the things. <laughs> but yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Let me know in the comments. Do you color code things? Do you have specific colors that you associate with different things? And that, that's really the key. Just take your own personal associations with colors and apply them where you need them, if you need them. Not everybody does the color code thing. Not everybody needs it. I, I find it very helpful for organizing things in my head because I, I do have a neurodivergent brain. So yeah, it's helpful for me to categorize things, whatever. But yeah, thanks for watching. Okay, bye. <laughs>